This is Twit. So uh, I got some homework this week. Um, so I have a, a 3D printer. For people who are curious, it's a Creality Ender 3 V2. Um, and uh, I mostly print in, in PLA. Uh, and I've got a couple of different ones, including Wait, a red I'm mean? not a huge fan of. <laughs> what is so MPL? PLA is the <laughs> filament type. Um, so you've okay. got different kinds of filament type. You've got PLA, uh, which is what I guess the default is. Most people use that. It prints at 200 degrees Celsius. Um uh, and so on. It cools down very quickly thanks to a fan on the printer. Um, and, and there's some other things as well, including flexible filaments. In hindsight, I should have bought flexible filament for this. Um, so my homework this week came from The Verge um, and Matthew. Uh, thank you, Matthew. Um, and The Verge had a little article on somebody who has combined an AirTag with a Apple TV remote. That's the currently sh current Apple TV remote, not the new one, the silver one with the click wheel on it. This is the older one, the black one that you can never tell which way is up. Uh, well, you can fix that by sticking an air check on the bottom. Only you don't do it with anything as you know casual as duct tape. Um, no, no. For this, you need either to buy something from somebody on Etsy or to 3D print yourself. Well, Matthew, <laughs> I print it a Huzzah. holder for, for my Apple TV remote. And uh, inside it, we've got an Apple AirTag. Um, oh, wow. And it, it is connected. Um, so th there's some good news and some bad news here. The, the bad news is is I printed this um, at a higher speed than I should have really. Um, and so therefore, uh, if we, we have a look at it, it's it's hard to see on camera, um, but it, it's not the best printing. There's there's a little bit of uh, uh, you know like uh, over extrusion yeah. and some some other bits there. It, it's not great quality. I I just printed it very quickly and in my least favorite filament color um, because I wanted something that I could demo. The AirTag fits perfectly. Ten out of yeah. ten. I should have used flexible filament though because um, this remote's not going anywhere. Like I'm shaking it. <laughs> And uh, this remote stuck. I swear I did not use super glue here. Uh, I'm going to have to get a heat gun after the show and just try and gently heat up the plastic enough that I can warp it to get my Apple TV remote back out. Uh, I think this Apple TV remote actually is dead. I need to repair it uh, with my machine. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, the the print to download it is $1.99 from, from the Etsy store, or you can buy one of these for 12 99 shipped um, and I, I don't remember now if they're doing different colors obviously you need to supply your own air tag and apple tv remote uh for that price they're not including all of that in there um uh, is but, it sort uh, of designed yeah. to have the remote slide in is that what the angle is yeah on, yeah so um it? there's a lip going around uh the side of the iphone for about halfway th down the siri button around to the same height on the other side um and then at the top there's a tiny little bit of a lip coming up around um the actual remote yeah. uh here uh it's good you know they've they've clearly made a point they've got like a little uh dent here for for the ir uh part of the the um the apple tv remote they've got a hole in the back for for the uh, microphone for the Siri um, connection, they've even got um, a connector space on the bottom. So clearly, you're not supposed to be taking your um, uh, Apple TV remote out of this regularly, and that's a good thing because I might never get it back out. Um, <laughs> so uh, if people want to try this themselves, um, definitely uh, check uh, to see how accurate your 3D printer is printing size-wise. Print one of those calibration cubes uh, in your filament before you try it. And consider maybe a flexible filament for this. That might yeah. be a good idea. <laughs> so that that would just mean that it has like a little bit of give to it, as opposed to being like uh, complete. I solid. mean, it's it it depending. It depends on the filament. Um, some uh, some filaments are harder than others. Uh, for people who are familiar with filament types, do not print this with ABS. If you print this with ABS, then you are going to need an Apple TV remote if you get it wrong. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, ABS is one of the hardest uh, filament types or plastic types out there. Um, it prints very, very hot uh, at a very hot temperature, and it gives off fumes. So you have to make sure to, uh, you know, well. circulate your air properly and stuff. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I did this for science. Uh, I have another use for for this air tag though, so I'm gonna have to try and get this out afterwards. <laughs> I think I'll probably yeah. stick with my uh, silicon case. And uh, if I want to, I might just uh, cut a hole in the bottom and stick an AirTag in there. What are you going to use the AirTag for otherwise? Uh, I, I actually have a bag that I wanted to put this in. Uh, so uh, hopefully I'll get it back out. 